big chunk of ice here. I threw it over and I'm like, hey, what, what's in my boat? And I walked over here and uh, I looked in. Oh no, there was a, a body laying there. Good evening, that was Andy Stober in September. He came to Local 12 for help after finding that dead body as well as drugs and unused needles on his property. So he lives just south of East Fork State Park off State Route 222 in Tate Township. Stober was frustrated by a lack of response from police or even leaders in Claremont County. In the last couple of months, his story has gotten nearly a million and a half views on our Local 12 YouTube channel. James Pilcher joining us now with new information on a story you will see only right here on Local 12. James, good evening. Good evening. There's There's been some activity on this case since our story initially ran, but Andy Stober remains as frustrated as ever when he checks his surveillance cameras and wonders what else he can do. Um, Andy Stober owns 11 acres in rural Claremont County, but shares a driveway with neighbors up the road through an easement. He says there's foot and vehicle traffic at all hours of the night. He shared these videos with us. They include a man armed with a machete who has since been arrested for violating a restraining order for threatening to kill his mother. Stober says he's also found an ounce and a half of methamphetamine cut up into smaller baggies, possibly meant for resale. And then he discovered a man dead from a drug overdose in his boat following an ice storm earlier this year. He says his life's been threatened several times. Stober's taken his case to several government agencies and pleaded publicly to the Claremont County Commissioners, finally turning to Local 12 for help this summer. Stober says he's not heard back from any of them since our initial story. I want something to be done. You know, obviously the landlord is too old to take care of his business. Just before that story ran, Claremont County's conducted a search of the residents in question. A victim's advocate sent this email to Stober stating the search uncovered evidence of drug abuse but made no arrests. And Chief Deputy Chris Stratton emailed me Wednesday to say the investigation is now closed. Stober says the owner of the property has since offered to sell it to him but later rescinded that offer. I tried several times to reach owner Edward Young by phone, but he did not answer. Stober also filed a citizen's complaint with prosecutor Mark Ducolve, but not until being sent back and forth to the clerk's office twice. He wants the property owner to be charged with allowing drug abuse at the residence. Ducolve declined comment through a spokeswoman because it is an ongoing investigation. Stober surprised at the reaction to the story online. And to see, you know, 2,000 plus comments on, on that situation, you know, is... It's kind of stunning. Now, I'll continue to report on Andy Stober's issues in the coming weeks, and it appears he isn't the only one having problems like this in Claremont County. I've been looking into the situation of another family there who tells me they're struggling to get answers and help after several incidents involving their neighbors. I'm hoping to bring that story to you in the next couple of weeks. You understand why these folks are so frustrated by all of this. So we wanted to show you those original stories that have gone viral online. Here's a link to that full story that is on local12.com right now. James, show the folks the clip that is on YouTube that has gotten all of those page views. Oh, Was it two yeah, here we million? Go. You got to refresh, yeah, I think. Yeah, oh, there you there go. It is. There it is. And yes, and we're up to we're up to two point uh, one point three million on that. So, but again, yes. I think we're having a little confusion yeah. with it here. But if you go to local12.com, click on today's story, that'll link you back to those previous reports. And from there, you can get to that YouTube short that so many people have been uh, viewing and talking about the, and commenting on. Yeah, the, because the 2,000 really comments, yes. Yeah. All right. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.